All right, let's get started with the first discussion on types of cost. In the previous video, I said that there are different components to the cost. And we have had discussion on the cost or the expenses of the business. And we know about direct costs, indirect costs, and uh, we also know about operating and non-operating uh, costs or expenses. However, in this discussion, we have a new categorization that we are going to look at. So the first type of cost is called fixed cost. Since the discussion is on cost, volume and profit, so cost, volume and profit analysis is the other name for break-even analysis and the uh, volume as I said in the previous video is the driver uh, of the cost. So the volume is something which we are going to use as the basis for the analysis. So volume in terms of number of units uh, that you want to produce or sell. Uh, so the more units you produce, more you will be able to earn and accordingly you have to bear more cost as well. So let us look at uh, one of the, the first of the two types of costs, which is called fixed cost. Fixed cost with respect to what? Well, with respect to the quantity of production, the quantity of the sales. Does not matter how many uh, units you are producing, this cost is not going to change. So on the x-axis, we have the units and on the y-axis, you have your costs here. I'm not depicting revenues right now. So let us say that here this is 100, 100,000 for example. You can produce uh, 100 units, you can produce 200, 300 and so on. Let's say you can produce up to 1000 units and your cost is going to be fixed does not matter how many units you produce, your cost remains the same. This is called the fixed cost. Fixed cost with respect to the quantity, quantity of production, right? This is the first type of cost. An example of this is uh, rent, rent of factory, for example. Now the factory has a capacity the total capacity is 1000 units, alright. You have uh, taken the uh, you know factory on rent and you pay some rent on it, let's say 1 lakh per month. Now you can produce 100 units or you can produ produce 1000 units. The landlord is not worried about how many units you produce. He is only worried about 1 lakhs per month should come to my bank account and you have to and in most cases they ask for an advance and they book it for an entire year. You have to uh, you know sign, a, sign an agreement saying that you will uh, keep occupying this space, this factory for next one year. In some cases the leases are longer as well and you will continue to pay and the payments can be 6 months in advance. So every 6 months you pay for the next 6 months and you can't vacate the building without, uh, you know, uh, uh, before the stipulated time period. So these costs become the fixed cost and uh, even if you are operating at zero level, you close down the factory, uh, you are still bearing these costs. This is the first uh, type of the cost. Now let us look at the second type of cost which is called uh, variable cost. It varies with the number of units of course, that's how it is called variable cost. If you produce zero units, the factory is closed, then you're not spending any money. If you are producing 100, 200 and so on, 1000 units, this cost is going to go up. This is the uh, variable, total variable cost, TVC. Total variable cost of the business. Now here we are assuming a linear uh, variable cost uh, because we are assuming the total, uh, the per unit cost is going to stay the same. Uh, actually, you know, there are discussions in economics where we say the cost curve actually slopes and so on, but we are going to keep this uh, simple. If you have information on how the cost changes, of course, you will use that information, but we start with a basic model. So what is the example of this variable cost? Uh, this is the, for example, a material cost. The cost of the material that goes into one unit. So for example, to produce every one unit of pen, you would require certain amount of 
certain quantity of plastic uh, to be used in the production process. So if you want to produce more, you need more material. If you don't produce, you don't need the material. So that is a variable cost. Again, what is the basis? The basis is the volume, the volume of production. How many units at what scale do you want to operate? So scale is another word for the volume. How many units are we talking about? And accordingly, this cost is going to change or not change. Very important again, I'm emphasizing volume is the key here. You see whether the cost is moving with the volume of production and do not take uh, you know per month basis for example if the rent is being paid every month it is variable cost no that's the correct uh, you know way of explaining it the uh, the basis is the volume the quantity of production now you could argue that material is not bought uh, you know per pen basis you buy material in the bulk and then you store it and then you keep using it yes but you can directly attribute the cost of, you know, uh, you can attribute the specific quantity of material to a given uh, product that is being made, pen in this case. All right. And the fixed cost and the variable cost uh, together make up the total cost of the product. So the total cost in this case is going to be equal to the fixed cost plus the total variable cost. Now, looking at uh, these two graphs, the previous two graphs, we know if we have to come up with the total fixed cost, we will add up the two. So, 100 plus 0. So, if you are producing 0 units, the total cost is 100 because there is a fixed cost involved. And if you want to produce 100 units, then you have, you know, some more cost. But the fixed cost is still 100. So 100 you still have to be a plus. So this much cost and you have to add to it this variable cost which will give me this minimum and some variable. So this is the cost. And then it is going to uh, for every new level of production fixed cost is always going to be the same and the variable cost is going to depend upon the level of production that you want to be at therefore total variable cost uh, the total cost not the variable cost total cost of the business is going to look like this essentially the uh, let me take this color so this is the fixed cost and this is the variable cost and variable cost curve total variable cost this is going to be parallel to the total cost curve because the changes in the total cost totally depends upon the total variable cost, fixed cost because is fixed. So this is the total, uh, this is how these three types of costs behave and this is how they're going to you know, change with the quantity, uh, the volume, which is the main thing. All right. So now we know about the cost. Uh, let's go to the next video and learn more.